This is a proof from Euclid's Elements. Book 1, Proposition 31. This is actually a construction, construction of a parallel line to a given line through a given point. Here's Euclid's proof. We're given a line L and a point P not on that line. Euclid says, choose a random point C on the line L and connect C to this point P. Consider this angle, ACP, we'll call that angle alpha, and construct a copy of that angle at the point P. So we'll construct a line, M, such that this angle is equal to alpha. We can do that from Euclid's proposition 23. Now because these two alternate interior angles are equal, it follows from Euclid's proposition 27 that the line M is parallel to the line L. It's also possible to give a second proof of this theorem using only results from Euclid's elements, and we'll do that now. So sometimes this construction is called the double perpendicular construction because we'll construct perpendicular lines twice. Given our line L and our point P not on that line, construct a perpendicular to the line L through the point P. We'll call that line K. Next, construct a perpendicular to the line K through the point P. And we'll call that line M. We know we can do these constructions. They're propositions 11 and 12 from Euclid's book 1. Now it immediately follows that both these interior opposite angles or right angles those are equal. Therefore, the line L is parallel to the line M by Euclid's proposition 27. We also make a quick note at the end of this proof that the construction of parallel lines didn't actually require Euclid's axiom number 5 on the nature of parallel lines and interior angles. And this completes the construction of parallel lines.